guys, come on over here. Let me show you. And finally, I know it's been a while since the last video about this. We ran into some technical issues. We're going to talk about this in a minute. I'm going to show you what else. In the meantime, we got some Doge coin. We got actually Litecoin miners that also mine Doge at the same time. Little boss coins. And I got a, a little deeper network. It's a DPN, decentralized private network. And I got one too. We got the Ethereum miner going. It still has, it's working. It's mining as you can see over here. I got it mining on four cards right now. Which is a technical miracle. Technological miracle. So, we also have bought another rack. I got another motherboard processor memory fan. And we got some GPUs coming in the next like, three or four days. We're going to build this one. And this one's going to go fast. And this one, we're actually going to do a step by step video of it. I'm not going to take this one apart. But, man, in the searchings that we've had over this, it's an H10 Pro BTC motherboard. We're going to make sure we put this in the tags. I've read nothing but all these problems that I was encountering and everybody else encounters them too. From uh, just not booting, black screens, to GPUs not being recognized, to the fans not spinning, and, and it's just like, wow, man, I didn't think it was that complicated. And the reality is this board is actually so simple that it's only people who will actually overcomplicate it. And I think that's what's been happening for a lot of people by accident, because I've been having the same problem. So one of the problems we originally had was, uh, see this memory back here? It's a very specific brand of memory. If you go to the ASUS website, I recommend that you do. It's, it gives you part numbers. And the problem is if you cut, you know, paste those into Amazon, Sometimes something similar will come up and you're not thinking about it and you buy it. And that's what happened the second time I bought this memory. I just flat out bought the wrong memory the first time, like an idiot. And the second time I did too, but it wasn't necessarily my fault. The third time I went and I got part numbers. I put this memory in and lo and behold, the mouse started working. It, it went into a bias. It didn't even go into bias before. It didn't function because it has to have that particular memory that it's looking for. It's very freaking specific. We'll put the part numbers down on it. And it's not like, oh, this memory is better than, it's just a simple mining machine. You don't need anything special. You just need the one that it wants to see to work. And not, it wasn't just a 2300 megahertz, it was a specific memory, right? Because we tried 2300 yeah, megahertz. It was like, yeah, 23, what, 2166? Oh, 2166. I don't know. Something well, right, like we'll get the part number down for you. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't just, just that particular spec. It was this particular brand and right. part number. And there was only like 15 or 20 of them. And maybe they're not that common, but. And I swear, make sure that you go to their website and you check the processor. That is one that you need to make sure you get the right generation. It don't even fit the different generations. Well, the different generations actually won't, do they? The five, seven, and eighth generation. The yeah, just five, seven, doesn't eight, necessarily mean this, this motherboard is going to like it. Very specific. Yeah, it's pretty specific. Basically. So you need to get, and we'll, we'll put some of the parts that go on there on the bottom. The big problem we had is after I even had it running this this weekend, and I was talking to Hive OS, but the fans weren't spinning. It just wasn't mining. And I was looking at some websites, and this guy was bringing up risers. And a lot of the issues and cheap made stuff that don't work, and maybe even not even the risers, but uh, and then it hit me that I didn't necessarily like these, and I didn't really think anything of it. it these like came a, with it? Yeah, I think these came with the rack. Okay. It came with these as a kit. And you know, I don't know if they're good or not, to be honest with you. They're actually working. But what I do know is these fancy cables that I bought that look nicer. And they were the same, you know, USB 2 as well. When I unplugged this cable, this is after spending like eight hours on Saturday. I unplugged the cable and I plugged in one of these blue ones and the fan started spinning. And I was like, oh my God. It was crazy. I mean, it was just like, whoa. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> this is expensive. This isn't like a cheap little toy. This is like nine thousand dollars. If you're just like, and how long have yeah, we been? It, you know, it's been sitting there. I've been paying interest racking on our it, brains for how racking long? Racking my brains on it. And I knew it was going to be something Most. simple. I told him even a minute, it's, it's going to be something simple. And it was the memory and something even simpler. But I mean, I've been on all so much, so many forums that people can't get this board working. Now the next issue is okay, that's great. Their fans are spinning, but it wasn't mining. So. I started, I took one of these off and I put it on the board. I turned it all back on. I had to get into BIOS 
if you're going to do that you have to enable the bios to actually handle the motherboard on that on the board i mean the video card on the board but if you take it off and you use a riser you have to get into the bios and you have to undo that and i and well maybe we'll do a video on step by step where we get into the bios there's other options yeah. you got to like click on some of these and go to generation three and the other one needs to go to auto that wasn't really set and that may have been one of the causes for this as well and i bought some uh some patches that actually have eight there's some they're nicer they're, they're in the mail right now i'm going to put these on the other machine and it looked like it had better cables so like i was saying so what i read about these boards is this isn't necessarily one and that isn't necessarily two three four five and so on and so forth it says it on the motherboard but when you go to when I, the one i've got the when i first when i pulled this back out and i enabled it to be on a riser i plugged it into the one spot and nothing worked so i unplugged it and i put it in the two spot turned it on started mining like yeah another victory okay now i turn it back off and i put it in this one didn't work i came back i put it in this one the machine worked started mining okay number three happened to be that one okay number four you can see it's over here so you got to sit here and boot this thing off and on and flip these things around until you find i don't know why i really couldn't tell you why it must be these it, it could just be the motherboard I mean, slots no i don't know i don't know it could be the busing mm -hmm. I, I, the guy said he didn't it didn't really make any sense to him but whatever that's what you sometimes have to do so i'm at the point I'm, i got four mining i had this one mining for like 10 minutes and then it crashed so i undid it and i i'm waiting for a block of time where i can spend two or three hours and just because you need to sit there and get your head and really be fully invested in trying to figure this thing out you got to be there the whole time mentally so that's where we're at with this one at least it's making money and then we're going to get this this uh this dpn has got to get up and this right here is a miner as well okay click it there you go that's made a lot of money but i mean it's only been on for not too long it looks like each one of these cards will make like two two to three dollars a piece depending on the price of ethereum and we're gonna uh overclock them and that's gonna bump it up a little bit and then it's just a matter of how many cards can you afford to buy we're gonna have 11 soon and then we'll get more on the way and we're going to build four of these racks that have a uh, i just put six on them so 24 we'll 24 cards going if you get the math it's like 48 dollars a day and if we overclock maybe we can get up to 60 on this and i wish i could make more with it but whatever it's every day mm -hmm. it just accumulates it accumulates oh it adds While up that's accumulating and this is accumulating and then we're going to get some a6 so then we got to get in here and redo this whole room and but as you can see i mean it's 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 nice it's, it's like a 90 degree day here and this, these things are it's about it's 65 nice in here right now. We yeah. got to put up some screens to keep the dust out. I'm going to put up a couple walls to keep people from being able to see in here. Make it a little more secure. Put some mm -hmm. cameras out there. And then maybe do a paint job. Put some carpet in here and uh, you know, clean this whole area up. And then we're going to get some solar and some batteries. Found a nice kit where we get uh, four of these big they're big batteries. I forget the brand. But uh, here we're going to put them out here. Run them up on the roof and put about 4,000 watts of solar on. So we could do this when the power goes out because the power goes out all the time here now like steve said uh we're going to link in the description the proper memory the the like we said in the video go with the original wires if something's not working we'll, we'll link everything that's here in the description of this video or just a different wire or it just could a be different that wire simple. you could have bought wires and maybe you had your own i don't know if you came as a kit you would think that i don't know what to say other than the fact like i bought the nicer ones that were going to be longer and that is one of the things that was just, i mean we actually had another problem with the, the cable with the monitor remember that was doing mm -hmm. the same thing too. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just changing technology that's right so we originally were using we just had a gaming uh, uh, we were gaming using monitor. a dv dvi DVI. cable to not hdmi but what's that other one it's like hdmi but it's more advanced yeah, anyways yeah, it, yeah. it has to be dvi to dvi for this motherboard, the H110 Pro BTC ASRock has to be, or you're not going to get visuals. Is that right? Yeah. yeah that's right. <laughs> so, man, it's so exciting. I can't tell you the feeling of satisfaction uh, just being here, Steve, and, and seeing these things running after all this effort and time. And, you know, I mean, you did the final push. And you know, building it, you're gonna learn so much doing it anyways. I learned so much about this by having all these, but if I didn't have any problems and I plugged it, this is simple. 
It's a simple thing. You put them on the board and you put these parts and pieces in, you should be able to turn it on and it should just start mining. But if it doesn't, that's when it plays in handy to actually know all this stuff already. And then uh, if you don't, there's your learning curve. Yeah. And we weren't computer guys before this. We weren't guys. miners. We were like, hey, we love crypto. We want to we want to learn and uh, we not just kind of had to we're, we're not like retarded we have like mechanical oh yeah absolutely and, absolutely but well, specifically a, we coder. weren't miners or coders yeah, yeah. Coder, but I can put parts you're an electrician, an electrician yeah so. and I'm, I'm I've always been really in construction and I've always been able to figure things out too so just uh, we took this project on and um, I mean I, I'm just appreciate being able to learn this it was uh it's been amazing. Uh, that that's a, a nano. Or do you have the mini or the nano? He got, I think he got me. Yeah, he, he got, got me a gift one. here. Got, like a gift for he got me a so gift far. for helping him so this far, is another... which is a huge gift in my opinion. This is the freaking deeper network. Can't even find him right now on the internet. And if you can, there are uh, absorbent amounts of money. Yeah. And this it's basically, a yeah. From what I understand, this thing will mine ten thousand dollars with the DPR at its present value every year. I haven't, I mean, that's one of our, that's the next, that's the next, project. I got some stuff going on. I mean, at least we got these working. This is, yeah. this is working. Yeah. Just sometimes just let it, let it go. Yeah. Let's get this one going, get it hammered out. Um, what else we have going? I want to get this, all this money off the ground. I want to get, you know, let's get this rack built. It's the next project. This is going to be a big video guys. This is going to be like an eight series mm -hmm. and we're going to try to, since we're in a room now, the audio should be better too, but maybe we'll get a microphone so and we'll do it be nice and slow and we'll show you because it really isn't that hard to do. The biggest thing is try to find graphics cards. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and just yeah. be willing, if not, then just be willing to pay for them. Well, that's, that's what I'm, I'm willing to pay for them right now. They'll pay for themselves. Mm -hmm. This is one of the few things you can build that'll pay for itself. Everything, most people buy and they build, it just depreciates and turns into crap and it never, it's, either you stop using it or it becomes worth less as soon as you get it. I this think makes you money. I think one of our goals is uh, to be more informative and more specific on a lot of the things because we had a lot of trouble finding videos online that oh even told us what our problem was with this thing. I mean, it, it was very, if you were very computer hard. Computer savvy, they're probably okay videos. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe. I didn't hear anybody say you need to specifically get this type of memory. Yeah, or you need to but use people, these types of wires. You guys are probably already. In the thinking, well, this should be coming, you know, they should be doing that anyways. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah whatever. So you yeah. got a point. So that's a lesson okay. learned. Yeah. Look, what does this machine need to work? You're right. Well, it's working. We know now. I know now. Yeah, I'm a hard head, but <laughs> I win in the end. That's right. Winning right now. God's a beautiful sound, brother. All fans spinning. Everything's working. Where's the uh, charts? Yeah, it takes you a few hours to push a button just to learn this real-time hash rate 102, recorded 100, average 95. It says 118 right there. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, you can get like 80 different settings. Oh, okay. Or, well, that's it mining. I'm just like blocks or whatever. You can see how like it finds Ethereum share found, GPU 2, GPU 4, Ethereum found, GPU 2, Ethereum share found, 4, 2 and 4 are really going up right now for some reason. I don't know what any of that really means. I know, yeah, it's, it's mining at a hash rate. You know, but it'll come up like a new job. It's, it, these might be like contracts that like someone just bought the Ethereum, Ethereum and this is just found. handling the, the actual difficulty. Share accepted in 50 ms. Micros? One thing I'm not so sure about is are these supposed to be red? Uh, they're red inside Hive OS as they're well. Red now? Yeah. They've been, I mean, I've had, you had two different things colors. here. This is my the, the machine. Yeah, and this is the machine. But you know, you're, but it's but they you know sometimes they the don't charts. like a, sometimes they don't hash. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. So yeah, we will uh, link up in the description, and um, if you guys have uh, joined the channel recently, this is obviously going to be. Going into our main focus is going to be mining, crypto, putting these together for basically for the average person, you know. And you know what? If you were to like be one of our people and you would, or you're interested in one of these but you don't think you could build one or you're not even interested in building one, 
and you live, you know, somewhere around here, maybe we can build one for you or something. I don't know. That was another idea. Northern we California. Yeah, we can build these things and sell them. Mm-hmm. Because it's actually kind of fun. The first time like, you you get it out and you start playing around with it, it's, it's kind of nervous. But now that I'm familiar with it, it's just you start plugging things around and just like anything else, it's like if you went into a live electrical panel, you'd be like. And I just go in there and grab my wires, pull them, stick them where I need to, and do what I need to do because I, mean, I know what I need to do. This isn't like that. So, everything I'm doing here, I kind of have to learn. That should be something that everybody wants to do, though. You should never want to not learn things. Every time you learn a new skill, you're worth more money. You have to live really good at free. That's right. This will lead to living free. So. Freedom, I want to generating other, income. Other coins too. I want to start doing, and supposedly we got to get into uh, getting this CPU to actually mine Monera at the same time that these are mining Ethereum. That could be done too. Wow. That's going to be a tricky thing. And then you could also have USBs mining as we well. You could have USBs, but you know what? If we're going to do the USBs, we would just buy it. We would just build a wall and build a custom powered up USB wall where we can just like. We'll just Connected to its to own do. computer, yeah. though. I want to have a whole top shelf across the whole top here, and that's where all the ASICs are going to go. Whether they're these little, little shell ones, or whether we get some larger ones, or so, you know, eventually I wouldn't mind getting some. I wouldn't mind getting a big Bitcoin machine. Yeah. Cool. Maybe after the power set. So, it, well, the, we have been busy. We just haven't been busy making videos. So. Yeah, which is going to kick back off, and uh, hope you guys still enjoy. Still got to go up and get that. That tombstone in the middle of that tree that it's been bugging me. Yeah, I hope you guys checked out our gold hunt video. Uh, we'll put a card across the screen uh, to check that, that out. Been. That could have that, that that rock was there for a thousand years. Definitely it was there did. when that tree was before it was there. Maybe the yeah. tree just enveloped it. Definitely. Maybe that was like if you go look at it. What if it had like what if it was a tablet with like chiseled writing on it or something? That would be pretty damn cool. Yeah, absolutely. Or it could just be a rock that's really really white, but shaped like a tablet. All right, guys. Cool. Yeah. Subscribe if you like what we're doing. Thanks for watching. Peace.